<laughs> well, today's gonna be a little bit of a wet one, but you know what? I actually don't mind when it's like that because it really makes me appreciate these floors because they clean up so easy. Just squeeze them off, nothing sinks in. It's beautiful. Anyways, welcome back to the channel, guys. I hope you guys are having a great day today. I'm extremely fired up because we are gonna be building some stuff, and if you guys know anything, you know that I absolutely love to make things. So if you guys are new to the channel, I'm trying to get a little bit more into like camping and actually going and doing stuff more often. I've always been into that kind of stuff, but uh, we're trying to gear this thing up a little bit better for going and having some real adventures. When I bought it, I told you guys I wanted it to be the ultimate adventure machine. So today, after the last video, we kind of dialed in like the camping setup inside the Jeep for me to go out and solo camp in it. And today we are doing the final piece of that that needs to get done. And I have been telling you that I want since the day I picked this thing up, I literally said it in the first video ever, I need a tailgate table, dude. Tailgate tables are just the ultimate accessory for a Jeep, in my opinion. The only issue with these is that they are f***ing expensive, dude. As always, uh, I was looking at it, I'm like, dude, I could do one of those things so easy. So today's plan, the really expensive ones have like this piece that goes all the way around the outside. That's the only thing that I'm not gonna be able to do myself because uh, trimming this straight line. If there was no outline in the actual Jeep door, like, see how there's like this groove here? If the Jeep door didn't have that, I would 100% do it. But because it's got these, and you're gonna see where my cuts are a little bit weird, it's gonna like highlight my mistakes. I'm not into that, so we're gonna try and make a hybrid of the one that usually comes with like the big back piece, and the ones that come with the little exterior frames, but I don't like the way those ones look, so I don't like seeing the frame when it's down. I don't like it looking jank. I don't really know. I'm really hoping that this turns out the way it does in my head, because I have a really cool idea for you guys. Let's get into it. Let me show you guys what we're working with, because we have, actually, we have options. <laughs> Okay, this is actually crazy. All of this stuff that you guys are seeing right now, including like all the random hardware pieces and stuff in here, the total amount for everything was 163.2 Canadian dollars. We're gonna be making a competitively good tailgate table for like the price of a whatever the rough country cheap ones are. So I'm extremely stoked. Now there is a lot of really good options out there for tailgate tables. Uh, my biggest thing was that they're, one, like I said, they're really, really expensive. And two, there's no good DIY videos for JL. JKs and older Jeeps, there's tons and tons and tons of really good tailgate setups. So let me show you what we're working with. Yesterday, I ran out to a couple of my favorite stores. First up, I went to a local metal shop and I actually bought this entire piece of metal. So I, I wanna say the original dimensions were like 30 by 18 or something like that. The tailgate table size I decided to go with is like 25 by 13. So that's what this piece is cut to. Uh, and then I told him just to, cause this was just like a scrap piece he had laying around. So I'm like, just cut it in 25 by 18 and give me the scraps. Cause I'm going to try and use these to make some brackets and stuff. So that is fire. I also picked up some C channel from him and uh, he cut that down to 25 inches as well. So it perfectly lines up. And now this seems to be the hardest part for people that are trying to build stuff. If you guys need supplies like this, I always get comments that are like, Oh, how do you find that? Where do you get? Just Google like local metal shops. You might have to make a couple calls. I go to like a really not actually local, but like a really, random metal plates that I just found one day. I called them and they have all types of metals and they cut it all to size, which is beautiful. All of this is just aluminum. Uh, it's all, all actually pretty thick too. This Home Depot picked up just a bunch of random things. I honestly don't entirely know how we're gonna support it yet. I picked up a bunch of random cutting boards. This boy is huge and like actual cutting board material. And then I just got like a couple other sizes just cause I didn't know exactly what size I was gonna wanna go with. This one and this one are obviously much smaller. This one is uh, the same size as this one. And obviously I have a plan. I don't know how well the plan is gonna go. Dude, this metal is so cold from leaving it outside. You guys can see this is like the exact size of that little square, which is sick and it fits just inside of this top piece, which I kind of planned on purpose. So I think first thing we got to do is figure out how we're going to make it fold down. put it in and out like a hundred million more times without wearing those clips out. Okay, well on the plus side, that is extremely thick. Like way thicker than I thought it was gonna be.
I was messing around with these. These, if you guys don't know what these are, they look small. And I do agree, <laughs> like when I'm looking at them, I'm like, dude, on camera, they're gonna think these are the dinkiest things. These are actually uh, corner braces. So these are like for furniture. Basically, you would bolt it, like if you're gonna put this, if you're making furniture, you put one there and one there kind of thing, and then it keeps the shape. These are actually, in oh, there it goes. These are incredibly strong. Like you can't just squish this, which is uh, nice. A lot of people actually, what they do is they literally just take, I was showing you these guys, and they do drill them right into the plastic. And uh, what you guys have to remember is there's no real weight on the hinges. The weight is gonna be supported by the cables that'll come up. Uh, this is mainly just a hinge to bring it down on. Anytime there's a load, it's all it's gonna wanna do is just continue to tip to let the load off. So I don't know if that's gonna be our finished product, but now that we have something to work off of, we can get into the good part. So I posted a story on my Instagram asking you guys to vote which board to use, and we got <laughs> we got 69% for the woods. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram, make sure you do so because a lot of times I do little things like that where I don't really know what to do, so I leave it up to you guys. Uh uh-oh. Uh-oh. That could be not good. What? In, when it's underneath the wrapper, you can like feel this that it wants to come up. Like, look at it. I just got it up. Right? So like I picked the wrapper and I just assumed they popped off, but they got a freaking hole drill through the corners. Oh, are you actually fucked? They're all like this? I feel like that just completely ruined our game plan. Glide's nice though. It's got enough room for the rivets. That is so dumb. Don't buy this cutting board. You know what? It's kind of nice because it'll, it just fills that perfectly. Is what it is. What the heck is that? Aha! I took off the tip. No tip. Grabbed it. Haha! <laughs> Dude, that is gonna look sick! Dude, I am so stoked. I don't know how I feel about these tiny little brackets. I might have to make something that's a little bit bigger than these L's that I was showing you guys earlier. And then I actually made a hinge, dude. I'm stoked on this. We got bolt washer, uh, bracket washer, bracket washer locking nut. So no matter what, this won't come undone. This will just slide on the washers. I might try and find some plastic ones because those might be a little better, but and when it folds up, dude, it looks fire. And test one. <gasps> Yes, dude. Hell yeah. I can't believe I nailed that. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the rubber feet here. The reason I put these uh, rivets so far in is because the rubber doesn't like to go past the rivets. So if you look, when I do this, there's more wiggles in there. It's not tight. 
obviously once you get the board in, the rubber is tight. So you just push it in like that, the rubber can't move at all. So what I think I'm gonna do is once we're like done, 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 and I don't have to take this board out anymore, I'm gonna put rubber on the other feet also. So I'll put rubber on this feet, I'll get it by the rivets, and then when it's on its way out, it'll stop basically this far from all the way out, and it'll stop where there's two pieces of rubber. So it'll kinda do one of these, I'm hoping, where like it doesn't really bend. Like that just, it'll pull out and it'll just be like that. And you can use it and it's solid and it is perfectly good. And it folds up. Dude, and the sizing is mint. It lines up so nicely right there. Oh my God, that's like literally what I was going for. You can see the brackets, but like, it's not a big. Okay, so next up, this piece should just pop out separately, I think. Yeah, there it goes. This little dude pops out because Jeep has like a trail ready system. It's kind of, I, I call it stupid. Um, it's cool if you have it, like if your Jeep came with it, that's cool, but I don't really see like the point. <laughs> it doesn't make sense to me. This is what I was talking about earlier. So I got these pieces, these big boys, because I'm hoping I can bolt them in back here and do a similar thing like that where it sticks out, but this will be much bigger and beefier and uh, angle them out towards the ends and then just somehow bring it around this, I think. sucks. I, what I should have done, uh, what I needed to do was measure above this lip. I sat it inside the lip and needed to go against there. I was so close. In a non-cocky way, I, I did too good of a job on this, dude. I have it, like, it's it, it's in now. And I'm just gonna leave it there, I guess. I notched it out, you guys can see, like I grooved everything perfectly in there. So I just cut out a big chunk of this. And then I cut out a little bit here, which leaves the actual Jeep door uncut. And I kind of like it. I feel like that's gonna make it look a little bit cleaner, especially once I paint this up. Got it in here and now it doesn't want to come out. So fresh coat of Mazda white. I'm gonna have to take this out to drill those holes. <laughs> There's just no good way to do that inside. <sighs> Dude, that's so, oh yeah. Okay, I was gonna say that is so close. All right, this is the moment of truth right here. For some reason, this one spot will still click in. 
Sometimes this one will too, even though I took all the tabs out. So if you get that in there and you seat it behind, you should be able to push this one in. There it is. Got it. Hell yeah, dude. What's nice about this is that this is just a piece of aluminum. If I were to bend this and this were to like pull at all, you know what I mean? Like too much weight and it starts to yank. All the clips of all this plastic is still pulling the plastic in. Like it is not easy to get this stuff off. These are actually like some of the better clips you could get. Um, these ones are awesome. So when this starts to pull, if it were to, it's gonna hit that plastic piece and then it's still, you know what I mean? It has like the reinforcement of the plastic cause it's buried behind, which it's kind of like a double protection. We should actually be able to do one of these. Dude, come on. This is one of the finer things I've built. Well, maybe not, but definitely is making me the happiest in a long time. Here's where the happiness ends. A lot of people that probably don't know much about paracord are gonna freak out. Uh, let me just start by telling you that this rope is rated for 110 pounds working load. This tiny little cable, if you guys don't know what paracord is, Google paracord, this is so strong. Like you can do so much with this. And I was thinking about doing the metal cables that you usually would do the same thing like me and Brad used when we did the wing on my Civic. But my thing is I want as little noise as possible back here. So there's basically no noise left. We'll have to like get it all dialed in and figure it out. But if there's metal cables, that's just one more thing to, you know, just lightly be touching this as I'm going down the road and driving me insane. Also dude, check this out. So I was just trying to figure out the last step, which is how we're gonna keep that thing closed because ideally I only take it apart one more time. So I'm trying to figure out how to keep it closed and I go on Amazon and I search up magnets. I was actually gonna put a clasp that goes from here to here, but I just, this looks so beautiful the way it is that I think like a clasp hanging on both ends. I don't know how I'm gonna feel about it. So anyways, I go on Amazon, I type in magnet. It says, you last purchased this on whatever, like two years ago. And I was like, what? And then I went out to my shed and I found a box of magnets, dude. Me and Chris bought these because we were gonna make a video with them. I bought these like the week I moved back to Ontario. And I've just had them sitting in my shed for so long. Chris told me to buy these on Amazon. I've never actually opened them yet. These are not the magnets. Chris told me to buy these because he says these are the strongest magnets in the world. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight magnets. And, oh, what the, <laughs> holy sh how do you get them apart? Yo, you can't pull them apart. You have to go sideways. Maybe, ah, look at this thing, dude. Oh my God. Well, they live up to their name as strong as magnets in the freaking world. Oh, it broke. I don't know if that's because it's cold. It's been out in my shed. Okay, well, obviously they're too strong for their own good. I guess they're like too strong to come in direct contact. They definitely can go through some stuff. Like if we put this guy down, He's literally trying to come up. Bruh, are you kidding me? Look at this. Uh, they should do a good job. We obviously can't let them slam into each other because they're gonna shatter. Bruh. <laughs> That's so awesome. Okay, I couldn't figure out a way to like show you guys because this just looks dinky, like trust. I know that this doesn't probably look good. One screw on these little 90s. This is my entire camping barbecue is in this thing. Look at this. Like if you slam it, it literally doesn't even pull or anything, dude. So I'm gonna fire some better screws in here, but I just wanted to show you guys this because if I was watching, I'd be like, that's not, not a good hinge setup.
put all my energy into making sure this would be super, super, super clean and like tight fitting so that when you close the gate, it doesn't stick in too much and it looks really clean. I didn't account for the fact that we need to put a bracket here for the uh, cable to hold on to. So on this side, you can see when it folds all the way up and touches like flat, there's literally no, like this is not, this is not room. It's not the end of the world. It just, this was gonna be clean. Try and do it right at the end here for testing purposes. This not only will work, but I think it'll do a good job too. <laughs> Dude, look at, you can't even see the rope on camera. That's how freaking good this is. Now it's just, it's gonna hold. I might put a washer under here just to help disperse some of the weight, but that's why I chose like such a thick, nice piece of metal for this. Cutting board, I just need to make sure this guy's good. And, oh yeah. And then down here, in the spirit of Jeep, I use a Torx, because <laughs> I have these laying around, I hate them. I put a huge, screw in there. The magnets are on here, just pulling that towards the front. I just used like a plastic JB weld. I uh, mixed it up, put it on here. It says it dries in 15 minutes, but I've given it like about an hour and this is rock hard. So that is cool. We're almost done, boys. This has to be in the top five things I've built. Dude, this thing is so sick. Dude, this literally looks like one of the, the more expensive versions. It's not the really cheap ones where you see the big frame around the outside and you can tell that it's bolted to the outside. When you look at it, it almost looks like the back piece is one with this unit. Like you wouldn't really know. Now when you go ahead and drop it down, again, there's no frame. I think that's what I really like. It's just so clean, dude. It just looks so good. When I put this thing together, I put little, uh, I don't know if you guys can tell, little, rubber washers actually in here which they'll probably wear over time um, but it gives it a little bit of resistance which is nice it doesn't like just want to fly down and swing itself open it actually has like some grip to it paracord i'm gonna need to learn some tie tie some better knots here because <laughs> i melted this all together but i don't think this is the best knot system that's ever existed when you look at it you don't even see it because it's just black it all blends in and then this guy slides right out and what i did was i actually cut you can still take it out, which is nice. This is jank, I know. I'm just, obviously I was working with what I had, but I cut where the rivets go. So it's not perfect, which I did on purpose. So when you get it here, you gotta give it a little force to get it back in. But when you slide it, it hits. It doesn't wanna come past the rivets, but you can make it if you give it like a little wiggle back and forth. So that's really nice, because I can still take it out to clean it and stuff. Um, if I was you, I would just buy one without these and then make this tighter so it just grips the board better. And I'm pumped that I didn't have to cut this, just everything worked out. So to me, this is more of like a extra space. You know, it's an extending portion of the table. I will use it, I'm sure, to cut stuff, but, and literally, look at this. Paracord, the whole thing, probably $4. Uh, 10 bucks for both C channels, 30 bucks for this piece of wood, 20 bucks for this, and then a couple miscellaneous hardware pieces and a box of magnets. That's killer. So this slides really nice. You go like this and close it. It's fine. Actually, let me show you like this. It clears really nice, which I'm actually really pleased about because that was something that I didn't really consider. I knew it would, but God, dude, this is so sick. <laughs> Got my big giant Yeti there as size reference. I don't know that the barbecue right here is the best idea. It might do a little melty. Thankfully, it actually has a lot of room. That's all the way forwards. That's all the way backwards. So that is it. I'm super stoked. I could probably sit out here and talk about this all night. That's all I got for you guys. I'm excited to get out there and use this thing. Make sure you guys like this video if you like this, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out, and stay committed.